Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. We'll go ahead and keep this hand and get right into it. We're up against Starburst here. Playing some Delver. Not exactly what you want to be seeing. We're getting plenty of refills here, but we're just going to go ahead and start getting stuff played out. Um, so I know I missed a couple days on the uploads. I'm going to get you guys caught back up to speed so you get your weekly dose of the Slivers. Don't you worry. Uh, but they got a Counterspell. This is not looking great. This is not looking great. Preordain, uh, which means we will be able to get the Sinew, but they have the Aberration flipped. We're off to the races. Just a little bit. Which is unfortunate. Alright. We get a Viverlint. I'm not going to play it yet. Let's just go ahead and get a Lord down while we can. And start going in. Uh, we're not going to be able to really do much besides oh they've got the splash of black yep all right well, of course they do it's delver and a snuff out yeah snuff out's been coming back pretty dang hard honestly in a lot of decks kind of was like floating around and then people really started adapting it and putting it uh back in a lot of stuff it wasn't there for a long time all right we are not looking super fantastic here Man, and they're holding up Counterspell. It's not a great situation. I think I'm just going to try to put down Viverlint and get another... I want them to kind of tap out for a turn if they can, so... I think I'll just play Viverlint and next turn we'll set for a gem hide and try to like crank off with a gem hide a little bit. Um, unless they have enough Counterspells to do both, which they might. It is Delver, so... The possibilities are endless. This is a thriving grove. We're going to call red with that just in case. We got nothing else to do but attack and start getting in for some poisonous, so why not? But they are going to cast down that straight away. And we are going to pass the turn. It is not looking great. It is not looking great. We really need them to tap out, but of course they are not. Ugh, it's a rough one, man. It's a rough one. Go for the gem hide. If they counter it, I'll try to get the winding way. They're gonna let that through. So do I go for a lead the stampede and try... Try to get some more stuff out of their hand, or should I just wait? Problem is, we don't have a lot of time. What is this music right now? Um. Hmm. How intriguing. We still have that stupid counterspell, man. Alright, let's go to attacks. Let's see what they do. Alright, we're gonna pass. If they don't kill our gem hide, then we might be able to. Force a tap out, play into a counter spell, and then try to get some refill going. Ooh, what are they doing here? They're gonna cast a Gurmog? They're gonna attack first. Okay. They might be worried about something. I'm holding up mana, so maybe they're worried about uh, some kind of removal, but they are just gonna play patient, pass a turn. It's smart. It's a smart thing to do. Alright, let's try to get a Lord down, bait something out. They got three cards in hand. They could all be counter spells, honestly. Um, but we gotta do what we gotta do. They're letting it through. Alright, alright. Hmm. They probably have removal for it. I'm gonna try to lead the stampede. Yep, that's fine. I'm just not worried about attacking at this point. We just got to go for getting something going here. All right, that's a great start. Still have a lot of pressure, and they're probably going to kill our Lord. But they are down to two cards, so maybe we can swing this around. 
There's a snuff out. They're taking a lot of life. They got to be careful. And they know we just drew two lords. And a hunter. So we can force a block on the aberration. Here comes a deep analysis. Okay. Okay. That's fine, though. That's fine. We're not dead yet. And they're getting close to being. All right. Yeah, this is... This is going to be tight. Ash Barons for another Swamp. Did they play it? Yep, they can play it. Paying the cost. What cost will you play? There's the Gurmog. I was waiting for that sucker. Alright, there's our nice defense. Alright, we're just going to do what we can do here. And hope for the best. Really. Um, flanking can't even trade yet, which is pretty sucky. But we are going to get everything down that we can. Provoking the Aberration. Yeah, I think we do need to just provoke the Aberration. It is a problem. So we'll provoke this. They'll double block, which is fine. We'll order blocks on the Aberration, which is needed anyways. We need to get rid of their Flyer. We can at least chump block the Angler. Um, yeah, order's correct. That's fine. Again, we have some blockers, and now we're set up to really put some extra pressure. I don't like losing the flanking, especially with a Gurmog out, because a couple of those flankers can really put some unique pressure on it. Obviously, I'm just going to chump block with a Viverlint here. I want to keep my Lords. I want to keep my Hunter just in case. Let's see what else they got up their sleeve, though. They gotta have another creature here to to block, right? Pain life. Deep analysis. Ponder. Searching for the answer. I think... Yeah, I don't... Uh... I think they might have misplayed this last turn here. I think they could have done something different. I mean, it's not over yet. They have four mana. There's a blocker. There's a blocker. All right, good, good, good. There's a silly little gem hide that I'm not super thrilled about. But it is a body to block a Gurmog. So this is where it gets interesting. Hmm. Do I attack all? They're going to kill something. I feel like they're going to kill something. Kill a lord. We still eat two delvers with the provoke. Problem is, if we just leave back one gem hide and they kill it, we just die. So I think, I think I'm going to leave back my two gem hides here. And we'll provoke you, provoke you, you, we will say. We'll say yes. We'll say no. We'll say yes. I don't want to die from just one stupid piece of removal and attack with a Gurmog. We have plenty of mana, so we don't necessarily need the gem hides at this point. They'll take three. They did not have the removal. They could have been bluffing, but I wanted to play it safe. 
Now, if they just have two pieces of removal here, that's just bad luck for us. But all right, we played it safe. They played the bluff, and it worked out to our advantage. Close game. Very close. All right. Spinneret, you're in. Relic, you're in. Pyroblast, you're in. Swift response. One? Sentinel, we can take you out. Plated, maybe one plated. Want my gem hides. Cut a winding. Heart. Heart is great if we can get him to tap it out. Striking. This is where it gets tricky, man. All these guys have such good... Such good plays against the Delver matchup. I'm just trying to think, like, what is the least relevant... All right, we got Pyroblast for that can counter counters and kill aberrations. We got Relic that will help deal with Gurmogs. We've got a Swift Response that can deal with the Gurmog. We've got Spinneret that'll deal with the aberrations in the air if we don't have one of our removals. I'm thinking I want to cut Striking. I think we can get away with taking out one striking. But then what else? Maybe the right play is cutting heart, but it's just such a Is it is it a realistic play to pull out a heart sliver against some some blue and counter spells? I don't know. Plated. Maybe we cut the other plated. I want to keep it in the Sidewinders. They're pretty good. Maybe Plated's just not as relevant. Hmm. This is tough. Or I or I just don't go. Don't worry about Switch Response to deal with a Gurmog. I could just handle on my Relics. I've been doing this lately. I put in. I want to put in the Switch Response, and then I think about it more, and then I ended up just cutting it. Eh. Hmm. Let me know what you guys would have sideboarded there. Would you have kept in a Switch Response? Let me know. I'm going to keep it out. We're going to run it like this. Let's see how it goes. bad hand. Unfortunate. Yikes. Mm. That's a that's a tough one too. That's a tough one too. Don't know if I want to keep this. It just doesn't seem We got a sideboard tech, we got some pyroblast and we got a gem hide. And we're on the draw. And we have a spinner in. I don't know if there's enough threats here. I'll keep. And we gotta draw some gas. Keep. I'm gonna dump the mountain because we have Thrive and Grove Thriving Heath. So I'm gonna dump mountain. Keep the rest, play Thriving Grove, set up for the turns ahead. We'll call red on the Thriving Grove, get it set up with the planes. And we just need to draw gas. I don't know how I feel about this keep. Makes me feel a little bit better, but, you know, we're on the back end now of all these counter spells, and this is where it gets problematic. Holy crap, my phone. Yikes. All right. Whoop. Phone goes away. All right. Another forest. Okay. Well. Basically. Basically. And six cards. Uh, if they have a four spike, I'm going to be mad. I mean, our... I think the play here is play the plated. Uh, not the plated. I'm sorry. The sinew. Try to get under some counter spells before they start holding them up. They, they could just kill them anyways if they crack for a swamp here. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Plenty of cards. There's the double blue. Chainer's Edict. Yep. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. 
All right, all right. Um, hmm. We'll get a couple guys down, and then we're going to start holding up Pyroblast mana for the future. I would love to see, like, they leave the Stampede or a Winding Way. And that way we could hold up uh, Pyroblast to counter it. We could start refilling a little bit. There's an Augur. Annoying Augur. They got Unexpected Fangs from Lair of Behemoths. Behemoths. Uh, put a 1 plus counter and a lifelink counter on target creature. Wow, okay. Haven't seen that before. Gem hide is not what we want to be looking for here. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to call green. We already got our red. Let's go gem hide. See if they want to counter. They're going to let it resolve. Now it comes down to... I think we're just going to pass. I don't want to... I don't necessarily know if I want to, like, counter... Counter one of their counters with Pyroblast to save my Spinneret. Like, if I, I could play Spinneret here and hold up a Pyroblast. It just doesn't seem like the right time. It needs to be more impactful to the board. And right now, Spinneret isn't super impactful yet. So, like, if they start dropping their Delvers, then maybe we'll start fighting over a Spinneret. That's pretty rough, honestly. We still have all our mana, but it's pretty dang rough. They could attack in with a Boger. A Boger? A Boger? <laughs> An Augur. <laughs> ah, that's, that's not great. That's not great. Hmm. This is an instant. I gotta watch out for that. It's an instant. They're just holding up crap. I'm gonna keep waiting. I need to... I need to be able to have a good fight with their counter spells, and we're just not there yet. I need a refill to start fighting over. Go Spinneret into counter the counter or spinner at counter and then play a refill that'll play out if they'll allow it they will they're worried about me dropping something else i think four cards in hand though it's so annoying i got the stupid un unexpected fangs can't even tech into a silly auger as they continue to get set up all right. If I need to, though, whatever they dump their unexpected fangs on, I can pyroblast if it's blue. Which, so far on this board, seems like they might try to put it on one of these guys. Um, sacrifice, uh, sacrifice, enchantment. Okay. And that's black, too. And that's an instant. That's crazy. Three mana instant for sack a creature or sack an enchantment. Wow. And we keep drawing land. This is not ideal. We are at their mercy right now. And I'm not feeling it. This was the issue I had with the hand from the get-go. Um, was just there wasn't enough power here. I think flanking is more important. But they could just have a sack, which they are going to have us just take care of our creature. Take care of the board. Why not? You going to start slamming some lifelink yet? No. Okay. Boop. <sighs> it can block. See if they want to counter it. They probably will. No, no counter. What? Do they just not have counters? They are the bluffing masters right now. Brainstorm.
Setting up their hand. I can't even counter that. Uh, it's unfortunate. It looks like it might be a game three here. I mean, they're just not going to let us recover whatsoever. It's not over yet. I mean, we still got a lot of life to play with, and all we need is one good refill hit. There's a refill hit. Let's go for it. There we go. Good fight. Good hit. Uh, that's it's not ideal. It is not ideal. But we got to work with what we got, and that's gonna. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, one card left, and we know what it is. It's unexpected fangs. They're not in danger of their life right now, so I don't know if they they probably just want to surprise us in a attack. So we got to make sure we play around that. Um. But okay, I want to see a land here. Throw down a land. Do not throw down a Gurmog. Oh, chainers. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. They have plenty of land to do that. In we go with the Augers. Two Predatories tapped out. Okay. Well, we're not out of it yet. We got some 3-3s. Three it's just lifelink. I wanted to make sure it wasn't anything else. Okay. So they'll become two fours. We can at least start blocking them. Unless they start killing. We got a cycle. Grab a island. Passing... I mean, they got two cards, we know one of them, so chances are pretty good. But what is that other card? Two cards, we know this one. Well, we could start getting in a little bit. If they have removal, they have removal. They do have the removal. Unfortunate. Unexpected fangs? No unexpected fangs yet. Just wanted to play out that removal. Um, snuff out. What does that cost him again? Cost him four life. So we are swinging in for, you know, the three. And then they don't even attack. Interesting. Okay. Well, Hunter. Hello, Hunter. How are you? Um, zero cards in hand. Yeah, let's smash it down and start whittling down their board a little bit. And because they're on the back pedal now with nothing in hand, I am going to force blocks on both. I don't care if they get a little bit of life right now. I know I can't kill their auger yet. Uh, but I don't want them, obviously, double-blocking one of my lords. So, they can gain two life. It's fine. And we can eat one of their augers. And then we can start working on this other one as we go. Ponder's a good card for them right now. That's for sure. It's going to set them up for the next couple turns. We need to get another Winding Way or lead the Stampede ASAP until they start getting more counter spells in hand. That's when we can really carry this game away. That's a... Just full cost Gurmog, like they don't even care. It's a good draw for them. That was a good draw. That's less of a good draw. I'll hold it in my hand and scare them. Don't need to play it right now. We got plenty of planes on the battlefield. 
It's a good match. It's a good match. Aqueduct. Okay. Sure. Bring land back to their hand. Bad draw for them. Snap double block you. I feel like that's the best. Is it though? I could give him the option to block the hunter first. That might be best, like leave me with two lords. Or leave me with uh, a lord and a hunter. It's probably the better way to go anyways, right? I'm thinking I do want to double block though. And just get rid of this thing. I'll take one hit. We don't need to do it yet. We got we got some life to play with. They have a land in hand. I don't need to be quite scared yet. Go to nine. Gosh dang, that's terrible. Let's see. We could put them to nine. And then they can swing back and hit us for seven. We'll go to two. What an interesting position we're in. Land in hand. Put him to nine. Hmm. Yeah, let's try to get him down. I'm not even going to provoke. They can choose whether to block or not. Oh, I'm doing my math wrong. Wow. Why was I thinking nine? Verse six, seven. Hit him for seven, right? And then they... Oh, gosh. Well... Not gonna block. Go to four. Let's see if this can come down. Pass at this point. <laughs> Triple block just in case they have removal. They do. That's rough. Okay. Give me some good stuff here. Exclude. Oh my gosh. When they sneak that in their hand. They don't draw a card with that. Okay, they just drew it naturally, I guess. Alright. 
Well, we're not uh, hitting them for anything at this point, so there's no reason to attack. I don't know why I messed up that uh, damage before. I was, like, treating my guys like they had trample or some stupid crap. It's been, like, a week since I played, guys, all right? And I'm, like, losing sleep here. Par for the course for me. They are swinging. That is annoying. Basically forcing me to block. <sighs> Did you get something stupid, man? I'll double block, see what happens, but this could just be a trap. It's not. We got a provoke on the board. We keep drawing freaking lands. That's crazy. Frickin' lands all day. All right, we got the life linker out of here. I'm gonna hold this in my hand. Like it actually. Whoa, whoa. Sorry about that. Hit my mic. Like it actually means something. But uh, two cards in hand. Uh, Viverland. You want to counter? They'll probably counter anything at this point. They probably know I'm holding crap, but they do not. Let's keep bursting in there for some, uh... Alright, that's fine. Yep, don't want to pay the life if you don't have to. Let's pass the turn. We'll just keep this forest in hand still. Freak him out. Maybe another Pyroblast. Not drawing anything great, but this is nice. If they don't counter this, this is going to become a problem for them very fast. But of course they've got it. Alrighty. We tick away. The legendary battle continues. Pure Dane. Yep. That's a good one. That's a good one. At this point, I'm just going to play it. Agony Warp. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright. Go ahead. Just give me the freaking winding way. Do not counter this, I swear. Yes. 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 It's over. It's so over. Freak him out. It's not going to help that all my guys are out on the f on the field here, and that's all I wanted. You can agony warp my haste for a turn and delay the inevitable, but you are empty-handed. I'm feeling good now. Displayed a little blunder. We win the match. 2-0 against Delver. That's a pretty hard matchup, and they played pretty well. I feel like they still had that misplay on the end of the last game but i also had my misplay in attacking too i don't know if it was necessarily misplay i might have still done it even if i had done the math right uh just because i did want to apply extra pressure to their life total uh while we were taking some hits by the gurmog um i think we were in a good position either way whatever the math was saying to get some extra damage on them no matter what with what we had on the board uh but good matchup uh thanks starburst for playing i uh bailed on him initially because i pulled up MTGO and it pulled up my my um, infect deck so I clicked it just auto clicked everything joined the match with him and it was infect I was like uh so I left the match rejoined him with slivers and I was like oops my bad but GG man good game that was a good fun Delver game leave a like if you enjoyed that one make sure to subscribe we'll get you guys caught up on the day the weekly slivers that come out this week sorry again for the delay in the videos and we will see you guys in the next one